Okay, so I'm waiting at the doctor's office outside, so I figured I'd do a quick little EDC video. And uh, this is just what I have on my person today. And we'll start off with the face mask. This is a Hanes face mask that I got in a, I want to say 7-pack, 6-pack, or 5-pack, I don't remember. But it's at Walmart. My wallet or wallet system. This is an on-brand camera case I got at Walmart. Some change and a little bracelet metal thing that says type 2 diabetes. My Casio Eliminator watch I got for $15 at Walmart. No problems with it little bracelet that I got as a three pack of different bracelets at Walmart. My phone. Alcatel My Flute 2. Also got it at Walmart. Serviced by Track Phone. Everyday carry knife. Uh, literally carry it every day around my neck. It's a uh, Walmart Ozark Trail model 8607 pound. So far it's held up. Starting a blade rotation for my folders um, because I have a couple. I've given a lot away, but this is a guides, guidesman pocket knife that I got at Menards came in a three pack with a flashlight and a multi-tool. The multi-tool is pretty cool. This knife looks good but it's yeah I don't even know the model name. I won't get into it. Maybe I will one day. My bottle of hand sanitizer uh, also known as isopropyl alcohol and uh, this is really handy I feel it's better than using gel, a spray, because you can spray it on things too. It's one ounces. Uh, this container was some type of perfume container uh, that I got at Walmart for a dollar that had perfume and stuff in it. I took the label off. I like it because it's a very sturdy case. It's very, like when you squeeze it, it's very hard. It has a little bit of flex, but nothing compared to what you usually get in these size containers. It's very sturdy. And you can have a three finger hold on it if that is your thing. There you go. Flashlight I got at Cabela's. Um, $5, technically $10 because it came with a knife. Uh, but I have no idea on the lumens. I know it's a AAA. And I know that it's bright enough to help me in my day to day as far as looking for things under my desk, uh, outside because we live out, uh, I guess it's still country, but it's more suburban. But it's dark outside, not a lot of lights, so this helps out a lot. Also to navigate around the house without lighting up the whole house, so this is a really good AAA, single AAA flashlight from Cabela's. I found it in the camping section on an end cap with a knife. Uh, everyday carry pen, because it's so small and I rarely use pens outside of the office. Uh, this came in like a 12 pack, I think, at Dollar Tree. And they're just little holiday themed ballpoint pens. Uh, the cap stays on really good. It writes well, I guess. I mean, it's a, not even a dollar per pen. But it's so small that it's really handy to have around. Picked up the slider at Dollar Tree. And uh, I like it for the little uh, tube attachment, kind of like a grill lighter. Uh, Bic came out with these, but they want three dollars, about three dollars for theirs, and this one works. As I say that, okay, huh? Weird. Maybe you get what you pay for, right? I usually don't have a problem. I have used this though. Um, I wouldn't say a lot, but I didn't keep track. But anyway, this or a big pen, or a big pen, or a big uh, lighter I have on me. Some, something. Birthday candles, paracord. Oops. 
So I guess I should have uh, set it as I pulled out. This goes in my back left pocket. Uh, this goes in my front left pocket. Uh, that goes in my car. And I spray it down with sanitizer every day, every time I use it, and then wash it once a week. This is on my left wrist, of course, front left pocket, uh, right front wrist, uh, front left pocket, around my neck, front left pocket, front left pocket, front right pocket, front left pocket. Fifth pocket, it's not a big, but uh, got a Dollar General. It works. And fifth pocket, this is the Ozark Trail 8604 pound. I took the clip off and uh, I like it. Seven, seven inches total, three inch blade, four inch handle, uh, ball bearings. Does not come centered very well. Depends on the one you get, but there's no way of telling until you open the package. But it works. It doesn't rub against the frame at all. Back right pocket. Uh, it's a little scraper thing I got last year on clearance for like 67 cents. Came in handy uh, for scraping off frost and an emergency scraper if by chance you don't have a larger one. Carpenter pants, I keep what I call a, a short person stick. It's a snake st stick I got at Petco. And uh, it extends, and I can, I added some paracord, or a paracord duct tape, just so it's easy to see and find if I drop it. Uh, but I use it a lot for grabbing the taller shelf items, and, uh, you know, I can latch onto gallon water handles and the tops of containers. It's pretty handy. It's come in handy a lot of times. It is extended. So, um, Walmart did have some back scratchers for a dollar on their holiday aisles, and uh, I bought a couple of those as backups, and I bent the, hand, the fingers on them so that they would grab better, and I'll use those a little bit shorter than this, but I'll use those as backups because I do use this quite often. My keys, um, yeah, I might do an updated video later. I've done one before, but uh, a lot of times my keys are geared more towards entertaining, um, entertaining my grandchildren. Uh, but I do have a couple things like my Aldi cart key or Aldi cart coin, uh, USB drive, so backup flashlight or whatever. Also have, uh, Pepper gel spray. I use the gel uh, just to make it easier to be more accurate in windier conditions. But uh, it's got a glass breaker and a seat belt cutter. But I really like this one because you have to put your thumb there to activate it. Got that at, I don't remember where I got that. Walmart maybe? Or Academy Sports? One of the two. So that's it for today's carry. Um, I do carry in my car a bag with additional gear, and I uh, carry and I leave that in the car generally. I also have uh, a bag at home and a bag for the office. So I've got bags. And, oh, there's a bag in the trunk for if I have to stay the night somewhere. It's got clothes and additional things. But this is just what's on my person today. Um, it changes. Um, a lot of things stay the same. Um, but this is pretty much what I carry every day, 24-7, or not 24-7, 365. Uh, this, once it gets warm enough, and I know there's no frost, will go into retirement for the season. Um, but other than that, Everything else pretty much I have on me. I might, I mean, I add to it definitely. There's more, there's more to it 
that I add. So, but this is just a stripped down version. Usually what I'll do is, uh, like I'll wear my jeans a couple days, maybe even longer if it doesn't, if they don't stink. Uh, but then I'll, when I switch into a fresh pair, I'll take everything out and then I'll reload it. And that's when I get to a more, less, uh, less in my pockets. And then it just gradually builds up and then it starts over with every pants change. But this is what I carry. This has come in really handy. I spray down the cart handles, spray down my hands, spray down whatever I might need to. Um, and then I keep uh, refills in my car. So my, my car kits have bigger containers. This is so I can refill all these everyday things. And uh, uh, this, oh, the back, this is the fifth pocket. Fifth pocket and back left pocket knives change. Uh, they're probably going to change daily just because I want to get my knives into rotation. Uh, the fixed blade stays on my neck 24-7 practically. I've showered with this. I've uh, I've done, I mean I've showered with it. Uh, you, you always have to sharpen it. That's one thing I don't show in here is my little pocket sharpener. Uh, if I need to carry that with me, it's on a clip and I can attach it to the paracord but uh all this shiny stuff is super glue i accidentally got it on the blade top because even though it's secure i've noticed well i just wanted more confidence i guess in it and it does this one doesn't click i do have another one but it's it is secure i mean it, it doesn't fall out but i added just a little bit of super glue to the inside top of the uh sheath to give it some more uh, to make the space tighter for a tighter fit but uh, I've done that before with a Cabela's knife where I added it to the stop pin and uh, I added super glue or nail polish, clear nail polish to the stop pin and it stopped the up and down blade play. I've only had one knife that was up and down play, blade play and that was a Cabela's knife. Um, this one suffers from side to side. I put some I'll polish around the pivot pen to see if it would help, but I guess it's it's helped with the clip. This was getting loose really quick, but uh, uh, I mean it's a cheap knife, but it works, and that's the thing, it works. That's it. Okay, so I'm waiting at the doctor's office outside, so I figured I'd do a quick little EDC video, and. Uh, this is just what I have on my person today. And we'll start off with the face mask. This is a Hanes face mask that I got in a, I want to say seven pack, six pack, or five pack, I don't remember. But it's at Walmart. Uh, 